she walked to the net to shake the hand of her opponent, number 2 ranked Ons Jaber. She allowed herself only the slightest of smiles as she looked up to glance at the excitement in the center court guest box. No screams of joy. No jumps in the air. No collapse onto the grass. I need to teach her, the effusive Jay Burr noted later, how to celebrate really good. Kazakhstan's Elena Rybakina celebrates a point against Tunisia's Ons Jaber and the final of the women's singles on day 13 of the Wimbledon Tennis Championships in London, Saturday. Gerald Herbert, a pit was not until more than two hours after the conclusion of her 3-6, 6-2, 6-2 victory over the No. 2 ranked Jaber that Rybe Kina was overcome by the significance of it all, including earning the first singles trophy at a major tournament for her adopted country of Kazakhstan. That moment of realization came when, during a news conference filled with questions about her lack of outward expression on court, a reporter asked what Rybe Kina thought her parents' reaction would be to this triumph. They were not on hand Saturday. She had not spoken to them yet. Probably, she said, her eyes welling with tears, her face reddening, her hand placed over her mouth, they're going to be super proud. And then, after a pause, Rybakina joked, you wanted to see emotion. This was the first Wimbledon. When she stepped into the sunshine filling the 100-year-old stadium, she did not wave to the spectators, the way Jay Burr did. Instead, Rybakina kept a firm double grip on the black and red straps of the racket bag slung over her shoulders. And it was Jaber who played better in the early going, handling Rybakina's strong serve and ground strokes to break for a 2 to 1 edge. Rybakina's miscues mounted. A volley into the net tape with the full court wide open. An added forehand after Jaber barely got a short return in. When another forehand off Rybakina's red racket went awry, Jaber broke at love to take the opening set, yelled Yala, Arabic for let's go, and threw an uppercut as she walked to the sideline. Jaber, a 27-year-old from Tunisia, entered on a 12-match winning streak, all on grass courts, and was trying to become the first Arab or African woman to win a slam singles title in the professional era which dates to 1968. I just try to inspire as many generations as I can, said Jay Burr, hoo ha. I hope they're not really disappointed, but I'll try my best next time. Rybakina was born in Moscow and has represented Kazakhstan since 2018, when that country offered her funding to support her tennis career.